Some tech news now. Chinese consumer electronics and mobile communication company Oppo have launched a new phone model with the view of cashing in on the rising smartphone uptake in the Kenyan market. The new smartphone Oppo F7 was unveiled boasting a secondary camera with 25 megapixels, something that promises to entice selfie lovers. Well, this comes after several phone makers have identified Kenya as having a big appetite for smartphones. So our target, um, what, we, what we introduce is phone, because we understand we have been constantly doing market research regarding smartphone usage and also the habits of the young people, what they like. And we realize a selfie has become a huge part of their life and sometimes can be even called as a lifestyle in the selfie. We are here to launch the new device, the Oppo F7, in this market. The Oppo F7 is a standing out device. The device that has the first 25 megapixel camera. And this camera is the AI powered selfie camera. With this, we have seen the technology and we are appreciating. And we bring this product having outstanding features in this market. It will be available through the Kenyan market in all Oppo channels that you can find. The device goes for 35,990 Kenyan shillings. Well, indeed, interesting times for the technology sector. I'm now joined by James Irungu, who is the communications manager at OPPO, to just give us some interesting numbers when we talk about the smartphone business. Many thanks, James, for joining us. Thank you very much, Mr. Abi. Well, uh, picking up from uh, the launch, of course, there's been a lot of competition in the smartphone business. What sort of differentiates what you have and what's in the market? That's an interesting question. And what I can say about it is that uh, this market is quite an interesting market, a market that uh, has a lot of potential, but it needs penetration and it needs commitment. And that is what we as OPPO has taken advantage of. You find that the community here appreciates the devices that we bring. Mm -hmm. And we give them what they want. Mm -hmm. And that sets us as a niche from the other people. All right. And uh, James, looking at uh, the smartphone uh, business, the competition has been hotting up, basically based on uh, the pricing. And um, looking at the F7, my understanding is it's, it's, tr it's actually selling at about $400 in Kenya. And uh, the average consumer the research shows that consumers are now going for phones in the range of about $200. That's about 20000 and below. What, what uh, informed the pricing of the phone? When you look at uh, what we have done, this market takes two things for you to have it uh, going. The price and also the value of the product. Mm -hmm. I come to understand that uh, most of the people that time back they mostly appreciated product that um, at, a to, uh, at a low end. You agree with me that. Mm -hmm. But now, people are changing this norm. And as you bring different devices, you find that this device has a value enough for you when you spend your money. And you will notice that. All right. Mm -hmm. Talking about uh, the pricing, there's a lot of research that has been going into smartphones. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, Recent uh, statistics show that 69% of Kenyans use their phones to take selfies. Is this a feature that phone manufacturers are taking seriously when it comes to the features of the camera, for example? Mm -hmm. We are in the 21st century a bit, and each and every person wants to stand out there. And as a young person, what do you do to stand out? You must have good quality pictures. You must have good quality images. This is an opportunity that smartphone manufacturers look at. As a young person also, you understand that uh, having different interests so that I can please other people, the smaller things that define you are the opportunities for business people to go to. Mm -hmm. And I think another point is that uh, despite having the camera, people appreciate having something they really love to hold in their hands. Mm -hmm. And that's speaking of the design, and that's speaking of what we have looked at. <laughs> if you categorize uh -huh. uh, your product, you having Excuse people me. 
to like the product appearance, mm -hmm. something that you can be proud of out there. It's the same way as people dress, All right. something that complements you, mm -hmm. something that will set you aside from other people. Uh -huh. And uh, James, um, a number of phone manufacturers are, are really going towards uh, new technologies mm -hmm. when it comes to the designs of their phones, and one of them being artificial intelligence. Perhaps talk to us about how artificial intelligence is informing the design and rollout of new devices into the market. Mm -hmm. Speaking of uh, artificial intelligence, you notice that uh, technology each and every day is advancing. A couple of years back, we never had this. But now, it is something that is becoming a necessity in daily lives. And smartphone manufacturers, like Oppo now, we have decided, after a research, we saw this is something that is going to work well into the product. And we brought this into our camera, into our device fully. And having launched the device into the Kenyan market, having the first 25 megapixel camera, and we have, as I talk about the AI, we have implanted the AI into the camera, detecting three features that can detect differently and work differently just to enhance different people's lives, different image, different characteristics of how you portray yourself in the members of the public. Mm -hmm. And we have utilized this as a technology. And I am proud to say that I like the direction that we are heading as a brand and as OPPO, and also at, as Kenya at large. All right. Mm -hmm. And uh, finally, James, talk to us about your sales projections for Kenya. How did o OPPO F6 do OPPO F5? Talk to us about where are you seeing the market heading in, when it comes to the sales numbers? This one is uh, very interesting, that we got into this market in 2015. And by then, we were not recognized that much into the market. Mm -hmm. And by this time, it is when we were launching the A57 device. I'm not sure if you're aware of. But after that, in May 2016, we decided to bring a product. This is the F3. Mm -hmm. And by then, we had a major launch. And the market started, started appreciating us. All right. And the youth there started knowing about this product. And by now, as I speak, we have been appreciated with Kenyan community. We say we focus on the young people between the age of 15 to 35. And we came to realize something. There are people who do not want to be missed with an opportunity. Mm -hmm. And are those people who like to have something that is currently trending. And what I can say is that we have been appreciated in this market and we love what is happening currently. All right, although you didn't answer my question <laughs> on how many numbers you expect to sell, but that's perhaps a question for another day. Mm -hmm. Many thanks, James. Thank you very much for that. Well, James Irungu, they are the head of public relations at OPPO, talking to us about the smartphone trends in the Kenyan market.